This is Coop and Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at the 69th Boxing Writers Awards dinner. I'm joined by the legend himself, bigger star than his son now, big Johnny Fisher. It's not hard to be a bigger star, is it, you know, when you look like this? <laughs> Do you know what? Fair play, fair play. Got this on a wide lens, so you can fit him in. Wide lens. That's being fattest, isn't it? You can't be that anymore. See, if I said that to my dad, I'd get a clip round the ear roll. Well, I'll do it him. live on it. I'll take him to Chinatown after, yeah, so it's all right. He's taking me for a Chinese. Oh, he's so. treating, yeah? He's treating, well, for once, yeah. <laughs> for once. Fair enough. Uh, sorry to drag you away from your table. Uh, great night here at the Savoy for the award. Look, we, we're seeing, obviously, Hamza Jerez win the Young Boxers Award, and I suppose we look at kind of the list of people that have won it before. Uh, you know, it's... You know, I mentioned Josh Kelly there and, and Sam Eggins and these kind of guys and Billy Joe Saunders from, from years ago, but it must give motivation for to win an award like this to kind of press on in your career at that age. Yeah, well, they're all great boxers who you've mentioned and to even think that Johnny in that breath is an honour, you know, so, but it's saying Johnny's got in his grasp and if he wants to, he can do it. It's good for me to come here and even just see all these, not only the young boxers coming through, but the other ones who've won titles and the ones who've boxed well this year. It's good for me to even be invited to an event like this. And it does motivate you to one day in a few years' time be on that list. And it's good to see my friend Hamza do it as well, because he's a local boy to me. He used to train in the same amateur gym as me, the Five Star. So it's good to see him uh, winning awards as well. There was a rumour going around that you was invited and you used your boy as your plus one. Is that true? Well... He is my plus one. I was, uh, I did ask a young lady to come, but she was busy, so I asked Johnny instead. Yeah, he's been blown out once again. Yeah. Been blown out more times than a yeah. windsock. By my wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you clarified yeah. that, by the way, just in case she right. is watching. Um, John, just, um, yeah, what can you tell us about what's coming up for you? Yeah. Obviously, we're approached like the middle of 2022 now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what can you tell us? Well, um, I'm glad to say my hands all healed up. The fracture's healed completely. Um, just getting in the rhythm of getting back to punching, getting back to a routine. And we're looking to be out early August in, in Birmingham is the plan. Nothing's com confirmed yet, but that'll be good. A little away day for the Bull Army and uh, hopefully some more of the uh, Northern, Northern support can come down and watch as well in Birmingham. I think during kind of this process and this early stage of his professional career, these kind of like little delays with injuries, etc., are going to happen. So it's almost a case of not being too downbeat about it and just focusing on what's, uh, what's ahead if it is August. Yeah, yeah listen... He's had, a, had an injury with his hand. He knew it weren't right last two fights. He's finally sorted it, which is good. He had the cut as well last fight. So to me, it's two for the price of one. You know, fully healed, ready to go. And we go again, Bull Army, get ready. When you say two for the price of one, I'm just a bit of Chinese, some sort of buffet come, come up in my head. Yeah, come up prawn dish and a salt and chili king prawn. For and we're going to one. Chinatown, uh, Coogan, if you fancy it afterwards, because it's just around the corner. He's got to shoot off his bottle, didn't he? Oh, Coogan's bottle? Yeah. yeah. Really bottled it, but I do. I do have to leave here very shortly. That's why I dragged you away from from the dinner. And have you eaten the dinner in there and all? Yeah. yeah, but that was like an hour ago. And that it was very, wasn't, very nice, very nice, nice lamb. But weren't much of it. So uh, big, big chaps like us, we've got to keep going. A little top up, but yeah. No, all jokes aside, I'm looking forward to. I've been back in routine now. It's nice to have a little break because I had five fights in a year. Before that, I never really boxed like that that, that frequently before in, in, as an amateur. So it's good to get that experience and now we can build again. It sometimes does you a favour if you have a little break because I can reflect on what happened, I can see where how far I've come and now it's like the next chapter and I've got to keep building, I've got to keep getting better and it's not going to be a, a quick thing where I'll just get straight to the top, I know that. I've got a lot of building to do and I don't have to rush, I can take my time. I've got great supporters who will follow me all over the country and we'll prove that the next fight. It's not like a question like about necessarily calling people out, but I'm sure there's a list, a mental list in your head that the level of opponents or types of fights that you will look, look for at this stage of your yeah. kind of said early career. But is there a fight out there that you think to yourself, do you know what, I'd like to test myself against that person or this person? Well, I think first one out next one should be Tyson Fury. What do you reckon? Yeah, Tyson Fury, that'd be a good matchup. I think I'd last a round. Well, he's a retired fighter, so he don't count. Oh, well, <laughs> all right then. Uh, no, there's plenty of, plenty of boxers out there, but Johnny's going to take one fight at a time. Not calling anyone out, even though you want us to. I don't want you to. It's I'm just, you know, that's just not the way I, I know people say it's not my style, but that's just not the way I am. But there are fights out there, you know, you just got to take every step as it comes. And the one guy who keeps calling me out, he's a bit of a joker, you know what I'm going to say, Christopher Lovejoy. But how fun would that be if we brought him over or we went over there? If we brought him over to England, at like November, December time, have a little press conference like the Rabbits, how good would that be? That'd be brilliant. Do you know what? 
I've got a lot of respect for Christopher Lovejoy. I think he's a top bloke. And uh, if he wants to come over and have some of it, we'll give it to him. Bosh. <laughs> We've been doing five minutes and that's the first bosh. Uh, yeah, well, I've done quite a few tonight. Bosh. Triple bosh. Bosh, bosh, bosh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you know what? What has stuck for me, you won't even realise because I do it in my day-to-day -day life. So when I'm around people, I'm saying this a lot. And it ain't really my word. It ain't the sort of thing. I ain't from Romford. It ain't the sort of thing I'd say. But I do find myself saying it quite a lot. I said to my daughter today, she's 15 months. She handed me a Chris and I went, bush. Start them young. Start them young. She'll pick it up. Because you started saying it in that weird way. Come in a bit. Come in a bit. Sorry. You started saying it in a weird way in that bush. And I started saying it. It was annoying me at first. But then it just comes into your vocabulary. I've done a, I've done a TikTok. Just a... I was in Marks and Spencer, I just went, Marks and Spencer's bash. It's had like 300,000 views on my TikTok, which don't get any views hardly. And people are going, yeah, you've said it right, you've said it right. It's just the way they like and it being said. Saying, yeah, and then there's people tagging their girlfriends and saying, no, this is how you're meant to say it. Look how he says it. Because the girls are getting it wrong and the boys are getting it right. Yeah, no, that's... girls are getting it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who's claimed it? Is, it? is it a Fisher thing or is it a Skinner thing? Skinner, Skinner so started it. Skinner thing, we know. So, yeah. it is. But we're, we're boss soldiers. Tom Skinner's a boss soldier as well. So we're all on the same Tom team. Tom Skinner's one of us and we say it a bit different. I've said it a bit different. And it's a different, we've took it to a new audience. Which we're is good for Tom, it's good for us. So we're all in it together. Tom Skinner's my right-hand man. So, yeah. you know, we're all on, he's at every fight. I see him after every fight. That's our tradition now. And he's part of the Bull Army as well. So it's the Bosch Army he's and the Bull Army. Bosch Soldier General, yeah. Tom Skinner. Bosch Master General. Yeah, Bosch Master. Unbelievably weird conversation, but we love it. <laughs> it fits, it fits, it fits. But um, for yeah. yourself, obviously, I see you put a post out, 35K on Instagram now. I mean, oh, keeps it every, I mean every thousand is going, yeah, we've got 34,000, 35,000. Listen, when you're a fat old bloke like me, every thousand followers is like a milestone, so <laughs> it's great. Keep them coming. If I keep people entertained, good stuff. What will fit say about yourself? I mean, I don't know how long with you're doing it when you're in the millions and all that, but what you do is you do engage with your followers. You are like, you know, you put out countless videos saying how kind of thankful you are and kind of blessed you are to have people kind of following not just your story, but your family story as well. When you, you kind of appreciate that as well. It's unbelievable. Like, no one ever set out for any of this to happen. No one. Trust me, we're just supporting Johnny. And it's a little sideshow. So if we bring a smile to people's faces, carry on. Do you know what I mean? When people have had enough, they'll have enough of it. So just carry on. And it's, it it's cringy, but these people, they pay money to come watch me fight and they, they, they offer support. And why not give a little bit back and engage with the fans? Because these Coogan. are the people that keep boxing going. Coogan. Never underestimate a boss soldier. There's thousands upon thousands of them out there. All and they're on our side. Bosh! Right. How'd you become one? Not that I'm saying, I'm a bit, bit south Ooh. of the river for this. I was telling what we've done in Mexico. We got, well, there's a bloke who, Ben Cable, shout out Ben Cable. He, was, he wanted to be a boss soldier. He followed us around on all of those. I want to be a boss soldier. I want to be a boss soldier. So we took him to like the, the beach bar and there was like three different tables in the water and we all stood on there and done like a Jedi style boss soldier ceremony. So if anybody wants a boss soldier ceremony, We'll be taking applications but now. Other than that, to be a Bosch soldier, all you've got to do is say Bosch. It's quite simple. Is that it? Yeah. That's it. Just say Bosch. That's, That's a ceremony. ceremony. Bosch. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> right, listen, guys, I will uh, let you get back to your um, your dinner with the Writers of Wolves. Appreciate your time. We we'll hope that heals and done, and uh, we can look forward to news of a, a summer return for you, Johnny. Thank you very much, Coogan, and thanks for talking to us. Yeah, have you got anything else you'd like to add? Just like I say, Coogan, always a pleasure to talk to you. Good to see you. You're looking very trim. Bosh. Right. I'll you're take right. that. I'll yeah, take that. Right. Can, we get, can we get a Bosh? What do you want? What do you want a, a double or a quad Bosh? Quad. Bosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good <laughs> what one. am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? Right. You know, like, right. when you just... <laughs> there we go. He's one of us. There we go. Yeah. King. Right, no, you're king, obviously. Cheers. Right, thank you very much, Thanks and I'll let you crack Coogan. on. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.